Hey guys, we're on the Vemuran booth here. Um, we've timed this brilliantly because Josh Smith was here as well and he's agreed he's going to play some guitar for us. Some of the new pedals, uh, the Myriad Fuzz, which is one that uh, Josh has, uh, is kind of like it's his pedal. Uh, obviously, big news of the show is the Tube Screamer that uh, Vemuram have designed. I think there's a couple of other ones as well, a new version of the Shanks. Um, but anyway, we're going to basically get uh, Josh and uh, the dudes from Vemuran to tell us a little bit more. Okay, Josh, tell us a little bit about what you wanted in the um, Myriad Fuzz and how it's maybe different to previous fuzzes you've had. Okay, so I had a lot of specific stuff I've been trying to get people to make for a while, actually. And Daya was like, oh, we'll, we'll do it. So uh, it's a, both a germanium and silicon transistor in this fuzz in series. So a guitar comes in, hits germanium first, then hits silicon. The silicon is fixed bias, but the germanium you can bias with the pot on the outside. Um, then it hits this feel control, which controls the feedback between the two transistors. So it's not necessarily a blend, but you can lean it one way or the other a little bit. Uh, then you have tone, so you can really get it where it cuts. And then volume and fuzz, of course, like a fuzz face. And the other big thing was the level is extremely loud. Yeah. It's way, way above unity. Um, and that comes from my personal philosophy of the whole trying to get rid of compression and all that. And the other thing is the Chula pedal that I use so much is very loud. So when I turn it off, I always feel like the fuzz, when I turn on a fuzz, is not as loud as yeah, the yeah. Chula. So I wanted something that can stand up to that. And so that's all the kind of ingredients of the fuzz. So cool. right, right now the germanium is biased really hot. So I'll get like a standard tone going on. Levels way down because we're at now. It does a lot, right? If we turn the feel way down, put the tone up, and the gain way down, we get a different kind of sound. Sorry about that, Lee. it really hot if we turn the feel way up and the tone way up it almost gets into like just a fuzzy overdrive all right now let's bias it cold where's the screwdriver We've got Shingo on the screwdriver. So, oh, I see. so it's an internal trim, well, kind of it's accessible from yeah. the outside, so but now we're you biasing can't... the germanium cold, right? So here's with the feel down on both, but the fuzz up, so it'll be much more spitty. Kind of, you can kind of force it through, you know what I mean? Depending on how you set the tone in the feel. So oh, it's spitty, go. but you can get it to stay. There. We're so gonna get busted by the NAM police any second now, any second. but it sounds so good. So here's with the feel down, uh, the feel up and the germanium down, and you get a totally different. hard at having it do a lot but no bad sounds oh, and and the things that make it good on a gig it cuts it's loud it feels good it cleans up good and it, it's just very versatile but still simple I think yeah. you know yeah. would, would you mind whilst we're plugged in if we just grab the tube screamer and uh, plug that one in as well 
Um, or actually, maybe while Shingo's getting that one, I guess we can always look at the new shanks, can't we? So we know what this one's about. I don't know if I should, do I say what it's about or not? <laughs> but I was playing with this one yesterday and it's pretty freaking good. It's got the, I guess, the, what's the, the code word? It's got the Nashville sound. <laughs> We got a nice kind sound policeman there. He just politely asked us to turn it down, which is great. Thank you, man. Um, so, well, I, do you know what? I don't know a lot about the, what uh, the ODS-1 is trying to be. So what, what we- So there's a pedal, a legendary pedal, okay. the Nobles overdrive green. pedal. Yeah, oh, it's green, the all, the, all the Nashville cats yeah. use this pedal. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's obviously tube screamery, but it's, it's way more compressed than a tube screamer, but it has this sustain and this sweetness thing that a lot of guys, especially Nashville guys, go to. Um, and this kind of does that, but adds that signature Vemoram clear top end, you know, and, and more dynamics. So. I've used that note. We both use that Nobles a lot, haven't we, yeah, the Odo? Absolutely. And I, although it's Spectrum. obviously got that tube screamery thing, it's it's got the way more bass end oh, yeah. than, a, than a tube screamer. This thing has some good heft, and that's with the tone knob up. I figure if we turn it down, it'll be even thicker. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So, right, let's just quickly plug this in. Actually, Shingo, while you're here as well, then, how did the uh, collaboration with Ibanez come about? Well, they came to our booth last year and they said they wanted to collaborate with us. And, well, of course, Tube Screamer, it's a legendary pedal, but it's also risky to make a new Tube Screamer. But we didn't want to just mod it. We wanted to merge the Janray and the 808 together and add some Vimram style, you know, trim pots, saturation base to it. And we also added a dip switch so you can have low compression mode or more of a Janre side and you can mix it all together. So it's a completely different thing, I think. I mean, the, the old 808 still my favorite is tube it? screamer. Yeah, so I really want to, I'm really keen to kind of hear this and just see what it is. Now you're on the, the high mode with John, the Janre okay. mode. So. Cool. All right, so we're probably kind of flat then right now. Let's hear without. And the thing I noticed right away is it still has the tube screamer. It's undistinct, un, you know, unmistakably yeah. a tube screamer, but it has this top end now that's really clear from the Jan Ray. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's way more dynamic than a tube screamer. Oh, well, <laughs> and I just was talking to Josh before we started doing this. He's coming to the UK in March, March Ton, tons of gigs. All month, March 6th through the 26th. Uh, joshsmithguitar.com has my tour dates on it. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, absolutely. Come by if you need to borrow anything for the I tour. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> and we'll we'll revisit what your touring rig's going to be, uh, shoot some video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll put links in the description below to all these. Uh, oh, man. They're so good.